Hey guys, so uh, I haven't posted a video in about a month, and um, I want to get back into it. My last video, I believe, was at Formula Drift. Uh, that was like two months ago, and a lot has changed with my car since then. Uh, recently, my friend Chung, his YouTube channel will be in the description below as Chungy562. He did the install video for my new LED headlights. So that's one of the updates that's on my Miata which you'll see in the video after this intro, um, but I'm gonna try to get back into YouTube, be more a little, be more a little, be a little more consistent, uh, and yeah, I've just been busy with things at home and fixing up my room, I got a new desk, as you can see, new, uh, station and everything, everything's all set up, I just, Needed to find the time, and I just had to make time to make more videos, so um, I'll be posting more, um, but if I'm not on my channel, sometimes I'll be on Chung's channel, so go ahead and check him out, give him a subscribe, and every now and then I'll be on Kaylin's channel, which is Itchy Pancake, I'll also put him in the description below, um, but he's also slowed down on videos. Oh my god. Whopper coming back up. It's always great the second time. Anyway, so let's get to the updates my on my car. Like, yeah. My life be like. So as you can see, one of the things that I've gotten are the new seats. I don't believe I did an update on these seats yet, but that's one of the things. I used to have the black stock seats and the Sparco harness was on the driver's side, but I moved it because it's got this buckle, which is just, I feel it's easier for the passengers. And my driver's side has the cam lock four point. So I'd rather just give myself the more complicated one. Biggest update of them all is my car was painted. It's not that crappy spray paint that it used to have now. It's actually painted all around. Also, I got the Toge Road Warrior banner and my spot. I had a spot that I just made, but I wanted a perfect circle. So I, a buddy of mine, his name is Dave, go check him out, EJ1Dave on Instagram. Uh, he ordered me this circle and it's in that holographic type of sparkle. It's pretty cool, it's kind of reflective, you can kind of see me in it. And then Toge Road Warriors banner. I got this idea from a Miata page called mx 5 Joe. you could also find him on Instagram. I just really like the way it looks on this car. Another update, that's like my second front lip. I cracked my first one. They're supposed, they, they, it's eBay. They say they always crack, so this is my second one. Th this one's lasted way longer than the other one. The other one cracked, I think, the second day I had it. This one, I've had it for months now and it hasn't cracked, so. Chung and I did these LEDs the other day. You could go check that out on his channel. 
But uh, I think those are the major updates on my car. Oh, no, I lied. Conchas. I wanted conchas because I saw them at my school. And uh, one of my friends found the website for it. So I got them. Oh, and I lied again. I have one more update. Another thing I did to my car. New headers. I think they're M2 performance headers. It's a 4 to 2 to 1. And uh, those were annoying to install. Like, I cut my hands a lot trying to do those. I even accidentally removed a head stud, but I got it back in. If I would have known that you were supposed to do this with gloves, this, this is my first car that I've ever done headers on. But supposedly if you do it with gloves, it comes out a better color. But right now they're like neochrome purpley. Which I think looks pretty dope. But yeah, my fingerprints are kind of um, burned into them, as you can see. That... <laughs> Ouch. That doesn't come off. But I believe those are the major updates. Paint, headlights, that circle, look at that shine. Toge Road Warrior banner, and conchas, and the seats. These seats were terrible to install. I believe um, they're, uh, hold on. These are some NRG replica style seats. I think they're off Speed Daddy. They're like universal seats and when I ordered them for my car it said it was supposed to fit. So what had happened was I ordered the seats and I was like, oh, I forgot to order brackets. Yeah, I didn't order brackets with my seats. It just came with sliders. I was like, uh, I forgot. So I ordered my brackets and they were supposed to be universal brackets for this car. And they both bolted to the floor, but only the passenger side slider matched the bracket. This slider on the driver's side did not match the bracket, so I had to get some things welded onto it. I'll probably take the seats apart to show you sometime when I really want to clean my car. But I had to get some squares welded on the outer parts of the bracket and then drill press them so that the sliders would fit the seat and the bracket on the driver's side. And even then when I put it in, I still had to hammer out my drive shaft tunnel, like this area right here. I still had to hammer that out because it um it still wouldn't fit because the drive shaft tunnel was slightly in the way. But it's nothing a hammer can't fix. I believe those are the major updates, so I'm gonna stay more updated with my car, but so far that's that's it. I mean, you saw this harness bar at Formula Drift and you saw that harness back when I had my stock seats. And you saw me finish my spray paint job on my car just to kind of see what the color would look like. And now I actually have the color painted onto the car. So yeah, that's what's been going on with Sally the Miata. So until next time.